deep meditation is a skill which takes much time and effort to learn. Deep meditation allows our consciousness and perception to be created entirely using life energy dynamics of subatomic amplitude. In this state, the energy activity of our own consciousness is able to perceive and interact with other energy activity from the subatomic layer of natural energy. Energy activity from this layer is commonly referred to as the consciousness of the divine. When we begin to teach ourselves deep meditation, we first learn to easily balance our consciousness and synchronize our life energy at will with our regular rate of perception, our regular aura color. This clears out the path for our perception and allows the perception life energy dynamics to extend freely and fade to subatomic amplitude. This provides a subtle and light connection to the subatomic layer of oneness. We notice this light connection most often in our daily life as our intuition. Achieving the highest state of consciousness through deep meditation is quite difficult and some days it just isn't possible. We will of course always gain valuable learning and experience from all our efforts. To make this video took attempts over four different days. The state of our biorhythmic flow can have enormous impact on our ability to achieve the highest state. The key to reaching the optimal state, a synchronized flow of white life energy, requires us to create no energy activity, no thoughts from our body, emotion or brain during the moments of our connection. During the first attempts, my intellectual biorhythm was in chief position and its levels very high. My intuitional biorhythm which maps the heartbeat's production of life energy with subatomic amplitude was very low. Even though it was very quiet, my mind simply wouldn't stop creating tiny thoughts about the biosensor and the recording process. These thoughts blocked my flow of life energy a little bit. Once the intuitional biorhythm climbed to chief position, it became much simpler. As we learn to let go of our self-made thoughts and beliefs during our meditation time, we allow our perception rate to increase and our core aura color to climb. This letting go process can seem difficult at first, but our consciousness lives in the moment. We need to have no fears during our meditation time, but afterwards as our perception and thinking style return to normal, we will also return quickly to normal. Regular deep meditation has many benefits. Firstly, it allows our own flow of life energy to experience a kind of clean out and allow for self-healing of every kind. I've met people who have cured themselves of potentially life-threatening diseases by performing deep meditation every day. Others have lost weight and improved their well-being beyond their expectations using this method. Deep meditation allows us to perceive as clearly as humanly possible the information from the natural subatomic layer. The energy activity in this layer adheres to different laws to the energy activity we are regularly familiar with and as such the thoughts and consciousness we are able to perceive and interact with are of far greater intelligence than our individual minds can ever hope to achieve. Energy with subatomic amplitude is universal and as such we are able to find wise answers to any of our deepest questions. Imagine living knowing the answers to your deepest questions. It's a freedom only few can describe. Deep meditation requires practice and experience. Our efforts are never wasted. 
Make the effort to set aside regular time for meditation. Many find it useful to wake up a little bit early and devote the first few minutes of their day to achieving the consciousness of deep meditation in an effort to plan their day ahead intelligently. Everyone finds it difficult to begin with, but after a week it gets easier and after a month they wonder how they ever lived without it. The attitudes and mindsets that move our rate of perception to the highest energy center are mostly spiritual and include prayer, forgiveness, submission, unconditional love and acceptance. Our goal during deep meditation should be nothing more than to listen. We can take what we hear back to our regular way of thinking for analysis later, but during meditation we need to take the position of humble learner in order to allow our life energy refinement to continue on naturally and refine our thoughts and perceptions down to subatomic amplitudes. One of the easiest ways to understand what the consciousness of deep meditation is like and why it's worth the effort is the Dr. Quantum cartoon Flatland. Put yourself in the shoes of the little circle to help you understand deep meditative consciousness. Deep meditation is the most worthwhile skill we can teach ourselves and it can only cost our time.